No tea for this one. Uh, got notes for this shit. Hey guys. So Supernatural Season 12 is coming to an end, and as I did with Season 11, I'm going to do my review of the entire season. There's a lot of notes, as I've got right here. Least to say in a nutshell, Season 12 was predictable as well as it was predictably disappointing. After the high of Season 11 from Season 10 finale, which set up a villain in literally the last two minutes, who then became one of the greatest villains this show has had since season 5 and then we ended that season with literally a battle of deities of gods of original creators and then we get these British assholes let's just say that let's hope that we never get human villains on Supernatural again they have been done so much better in the past with if I remember his name was Carver, uh, the black hunter who they met in season two who was ruthless and then he went after them as a vendetta. He's probably one of the best human hunter villains there's ever been. And aside from that, British Men in Letters was pathetically dragged out. This was a arc that had no purpose to it. And to be honest, this season really didn't get its purpose going until after episode nine. Well, really the halfway mark of when the devil took over the president, which was something that actually should have been used far more in this season. Because that was actually a really cool idea, not the rocker bullshit. That was lame and made him whiny. The one thing that was kind of a... <clears throat> it was a good thing, a little bit of a bad thing, but more of a good thing was there was really good individual episodes. While filler episodes are not really the greatest in my opinion, this one had a lot of good ones. There was the witch who had the weird sort of makeshift uh, human scarecrow things that involved the witch hunter duo. There was the episode that had the woman, the mother who using arcane magic to keep herself alive to go after angels who had killed her her son years ago and that was a really good morally ambigu a very morally complexing episode up until the end when the writers just drove that into a wall there was the episode where they met the family who were weird super crazy christians who were keeping their daughter who had psychic powers locked up in the basement that was a great episode that harkened back to the past of sam's powers and finding the other yellow-eyed demons uh projects there was the episode where dean was losing his memory that was the single best episode of this season because that had an emotional depth that this show has not had in a long fucking time that episode was great. It was so well done. There was also even the episode that uh, Gabrielle Richard Spite Jr. directed, which was literally Quentin Tarantino as much as Quentin Tarantino could be, because there was a lot of Quentin Tarantino references, uh, editing styles, and everything. That episode, it did sort of have something to do with story, but it was actually a really cool, different episode. But mind you, there were some filler episodes that were awful. Hey, remember they brought Hitler into the show? Remember how much they fucked that up? That was terrible. You had a great line of jokes. You had freaking Hitler, and you ruined it. There was other stuff too, like when the boys were hunting for the first time with their mother and they went to that house, that weird baby ghost thing. That was a lame episode. They also brought back Jeremy Novak's daughter though in an episode that was far better than the episode that they had her in in season 11 in my opinion. Mind you, it again kind of defied logic of previous seasons with the whole idea they were really against Mitch or Mick for having killed off this girl who had the werewolf virus even though they know that they can't do that because of season two the whole heart episode but then there's this cure for werewolf werewolfism pulled straight out of their ass the relationship between the mother and the boys was all right at first the whole idea of her kind of figuring out what was going on in modern day catching up on 30 years also being having been in heaven and then being pulled out into the real world with a lot of buffy well, hearkening to Buffy. However, then it just became really childish and whiny and meh and so much eye-rolling drama bullshit. However, this season did make me like Rowena. Rowena was cool in the episode where Dean was losing his memory. I never really liked her up until that 
to that episode. She was kind of this annoying character who had some traits, but I didn't like her. But I actually saw a purpose to her character. And then they killed her at the end of the season. Killed her. And then they also brought back Eileen, the death girl from season 11. And she was cool. It was cool to see her back again. And then they killed her off at the end of the season. Terrible kill, by the way. The, probably the one thing that I can say that was good from the Metal Letters business was Mick. Mick was basically this season's Castiel. A lot of people commented on that, and he was. He was a guy who was for one side, but then was sort of morally changed by the brothers' doings, and he figured out that there was a better way. He had also a dark past with the British Men of Letters, having his initiation being killing his best friend. And his death was actually the best surprise and the best death of the season. I'm not counting those two bullshit deaths at the end of the season that were purely there for shock value, not for actual narrative bullshit purposes. But in the end, how the episode lined up to the end was this, this Nephilim story should have been more focused on. That is pure and simple. This was much more interesting. Sure, Lucifer really didn't do much in this season. He's basically just kind of doing what he didn't get to not do in season five already but he already was the master and the architect of evil and a lot of crazy disgusting shit that happened in season five so anything he did in this season was just a hearkening back to what was much cooler and much more evil in season five this show literally has run themselves into a corner they i thought they had done it last time with season 10 but they were able to pull out the darkness story the british mental letters has proven that humans are not capable villains they are terrible villains only thing that's cool is monsters, but at the end, they've also shown that these brothers can just kind of take on monsters and not even have a scratch. Dean went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil in a fight, and did you notice at the end of that fight, even though the devil was beating the shit out of him, he didn't even have a bruise? Like, where was makeup department there? You couldn't even show that he was getting his ass kicked? Remember what happened in season five? I'm literally just gonna keep on ranting season five, because for some reason, I'm gonna be really direct here. Majority of Supernatural friends don't seem to give a shit that this show is getting bad. I read through all the comments in the spoiler feeds for one of the Facebook pages I'm a part of, and you guys were literally just eating this shit up, saying, yeah, it's great, oh no, Cass is dead, oh, even though I know he's dead, he's not dead, I can't watch the scene, it's like, why? How can you not be subjected to any inkling that this is not as good as it once was before the only thing i can say is is some of you might have just blanched through this show you can say oh i watched all the episodes but did you watch them from the beginning like actually watch them on tv not this netflix like netflix purging shit no i mean actually going all the way back to 2005 and having watched every episode episodically up until now I don't know if any of you have done that in the, like, a majority of you have. Maybe there are a lot of you who have, but I feel that some of you just don't see the de the degradation of this show. If you want to know why some people are commenting saying, I wish the show would end, and you're like, ooh, why do you have any reason for that? How I Met Your Mother, Dexter, there are so many other shows of examples that I can give that was dragged out way too long and in the end the whole product suffered and it ended on a note that just left everyone unhappy so this is why this show should end on a good note this nephilim storyline may be the last chance this season has of actually ending on a good note but knowing sam and dean and jensen ackles and jerry padalecki they're going to just keep on going with the shit because they make good money from it and why wouldn't you when you've got an easy gig and it's fun to work with? So, I don't know. I'm really hoping that someone sees that this show should come to an end on a high note, on its own grounds, and not because they just didn't have the ratings for it anymore, and that you guys were just fine with watching utter shit. That's me being bluntly honest. This show is nowhere near as good as it used to be. Season 11 was the last hope of arc I had for this se this show. I don't know if I'm going to watch season 13. I probably will, but I'm not really honest. I cannot honestly say whether I am certain of that or not. Just because of how much this season let me down after my hopes were raised into the stratosphere from season 11. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I will keep on reviewing original episodes of Supernatural because that's good. 
unlike whatever this is that we're being given. So maybe that's a lesson for all of us, is that maybe if we is, if we are willing to raise our expectations of this show, maybe it'll get good again. But if we continue to just be happy and alright with how mundane, lazy, and absolutely uncreative the, the show is getting, we're not going to see anything get better again. Jeremy Carver's gone. He's a, as an executive consultant. Eric Kripke's gone. He's an executive consultant. But right now, apparently, we have guys who wrote episodes for season four. Which is cool as a showrunner, but look what happened with Sarah Gamble. Sarah Gamble was one of the biggest writers for this show. Throughout all of season one to five, she was a head hierarchy for the whole story arc. And then she took over for season six and season seven, and it was fucking awful. So just because you're a good writer and you have good ideas and you have uh, contributed good episodes doesn't mean you can direct an entire show. Look at Walking Dead, for example. But now for my final rating. I have ranted on long enough. My final rating for season 12 of Supernatural is a 3 out of 7. If I, I did all the math, and technically it actually equals up to 4 of all the ratings I did, but for how much of a structured season this was taking out all the filler episodes actually putting all the story episodes together that was a majority of negative the filler episodes were actually some of them some of them not all of them were actually good but they're filler episodes after having such a great season as season 11 which was very story driven very constructed i'm not gonna stand up for this bullshit anymore Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Sorry for the very, very, very long review, but I believe I needed to get that off my chest. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.